How do we celebrate the reverse journey of Balkan women who have studied abroad and then decided to return to their home countries to make a meaningful contribution? It is an interesting space in an individual's life where international education ignites the passion to effect positive change in one's homeland. With the guest of this episode of Bold Balkan Women podcast, we talk about the impact that can be achieved when individuals harness their global experiences to contribute to their communities. I welcome our guest, Albana Carapancho, a licensed attorney and professional of many hats. As a doctoral candidate, she was awarded numerous scholarships, grants and visiting scholar positions, to mention a couple. The International Institute for the Unification of Private Law in Rome, the Columbia Law School in New York and Harris Manchester College, University of Oxford. She was an academic mentor in the Romani Studies program at Central European University. Recently, Albana has served full-time as an advisor to the Minister of Finance and Economy in Albania as part of the leadership program Lead Albania, focusing on negotiating chapters of EU accession. Currently, she is an associate at PwC, Albania and Kosovo, and serves as the chair of the Legal and Regulatory Committee of the American Chamber of Commerce in Albania. Albana, this is very impressive, your journey so far, and we're really grateful that you are today's guest of our Balkan Forum podcast. So welcome. Thank you very much, Linda. I'm very happy to be here, and I want to extend my congratulations for all the projects and this great initiative that you have undertaken. Thank you so much, Albana. Let me start with our conversation. How did studying abroad shape your perspective on your home country? Um, I studied here, I studied uh, in Albania actually, and um, I graduated uh, um, in law in 2010. And after a few years of working uh, as a lawyer for an insurance company, uh, somehow I felt that I wanted a different perspective in my life and this is how I decided to pursue a master in law abroad at Central European University and I think that has been one of the smartest decisions I've ever taken because it opened a new world to me and after the master I decided to pursue the doctoral studies and that has been an extraordinary journey a journey uh, filled with new experiences with uh, students from everywhere around the world, uh, with uh, amazing professors, uh, I have to say, and actually it, gained me, it helped me to gain a very different perspective than the national one. Uh, and those have been fundamental years of my life that have helped me become the person I feel today. And what inspired you to return to Albania and to make a positive impact there? This is true. Uh, well, this is uh, also due to the, um, the nature of studies and also uh, the culture of the university where I spent the years. Central European University is a university that has been always focused on uh, Southern Eastern Europe and uh, on new generations. Uh, since its establishment, this has been its main focus and then it expanded to other areas of the world. Um, it's a university that uh, gives you uh, different uh, views on, on how uh, politics function, on how re economic reforms happen in one uh, country that is aiming to become a country of an EU member state. And after several years, actually, somehow uh, I felt that I had to come back and contribute to my motherland. Uh, this was a bit sentimental at the time because I was homesick to be very honest and uh, I, I was also missing my family and my friends and my colleagues at the time and uh, I decided that maybe it was the moment to come back and see how I would uh, um, how I would feel again in Albania after a few years of being abroad. Uh, coming back was uh, not so easy but at the same time, so far, it has been totally worth it. You just said that it wasn't so easy coming back. So what were some of the challenges that you faced as you were transitioning back to your home country after studying abroad? 
and how have you overcome those challenges so far? Well, um, this is um, a multi-layer discussion, I have to say. Uh, coming back, uh, first of all, means that uh, you come from, uh, after gaining a totally different perspective, actually, and after studying uh, different legal systems for many years, uh, you come back to a country that uh, somehow you think that you know, but also many changes have happened here, meanwhile, and the society is at a different stage of developments, although in very few years, because things in Albania have been uh, changing very quickly over the last decades, and one has to admit it, uh, and most of them have changed uh, very in a very positive way. Uh, so I have to reconnect with uh, colleagues, with friends, I had to understand the dynamics in the country and uh, needless to say that those dynamics are politics, economics and also legal changes that happened. Um, the beginning uh, wasn't easy uh, because I also had lost connections and I also had these big dreams in my head. Uh, and uh, also wanted to contribute right immediately. But then, uh, once I was here, I was very lucky because I uh, enrolled in a program, in a leadership program, that is a unique program in Albania, Lead Albania, and I'm grateful to, um, I'm grateful to the fact that I was accepted uh, to become a lead uh, um, fellow, and uh, that is a program that gave me a totally new perspective, actually, how um, public politics uh, change uh, um, well, the situation in one country. I served as an advisor, as you mentioned, uh, at the cabinet of the Ministry of Finance and Economy for one year. I was uh, very much involved with uh, EU negotiating chapters, so this helped me to see uh, very closely um, how laws and bylaws change and what it takes actually and uh, the expertise that is needed and that sometimes uh, unfortunately we lack because uh, human resources now has become quite uh, a problem everywhere I would say in all parts of the world uh, and expertise in uh, countries like Albania it's always difficult to find and to keep it with you because young generation even those who are very well prepared they are not spending such a long time and contributing to the country they are always looking for a better opportunity and moving from one place to another uh, this has been a great experience to be very honest it helped me um, be part of a network of professionals who have different profiles, not only lawyers, and uh, for the first time uh, I learned about public administrations, I learned about uh, how the cabinet of a minister would work, uh, so uh, this was uh, very insightful. Can you share some specific examples of how your international education has influenced your work or your work projects aimed at contributing to your home country's development? Okay, uh, well, um, as I always say, all reforms are related to law, so I think my profession has helped me a lot. I was a practitioner here, and then when I moved abroad, I had the chance to study not only civil law, but also common law, and my doctoral thesis was related to legal reform. Uh, with a focus in Albania and also some leading jurisdictions. Uh, the fact that um, uh, while the main approach employed at the university was the comparative one, it always helped me uh, compare uh, what we have in Albania with uh, very important leading jurisdictions in other countries. So somehow you don't understand it while you are studying, but once you are back and you see things very closely, then you can understand what can work or not in practice, or how long reforms can take, and how you can contribute for the better. And when you say you, I mean uh, the institutions or the society or stakeholders that are very important. Uh, at the same time, uh, the fact that uh, I was uh, enrolled in a university that is very international, um, I, made very, I made friends and colleagues from everywhere in the world and this uh, is very helpful even when one is working in one country because there is always a connection you have everywhere and even if you need an information or a confirmation you know uh, whom to contact, right? And it helps a lot. Even when you are working at the min at ministry, if you need some information from another country, a neighbor country, uh, it is very easy to find someone that can provide you with that in an official way. And uh, this helps a lot, I would say. 
uh, Central European University and the entire journey, which uh, has been quite dynamic, I have to say. Uh, it has helped me a lot to understand that I, I like business law and it's a very dynamic area. And in this global world that we live, cross-border transactions are quite important. And that's a main focus that I have actually even at the job that I do. Um, because uh, businesses are uh, crucial for uh, the economy of one country. And how has this experience of going abroad to study and then coming back to your home country to contribute, how has this contributed to your personal growth? Yes, um, I always, when I talk about these years abroad, uh, I think of myself as a new me, so the person that returned to Albania was a new Albana and this is a natural process I would say because uh, with the years we grow and one doesn't even, does not necessarily grow only academically but you grow uh, in a cultural way and in a social way and you become more open towards people who come from different backgrounds. Uh, you are more open to different uh, cultures and uh, it helped me mainly, I always say, to gain, to gain self-confidence about who I am and how to position myself in every circumstances and in every environment, independently of who is standing in front of me. What a beautiful journey, Albana. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. And it was a pleasure having you a guest of the Polkom Forum podcast. The pleasure is all mine. I'm very thankful again to everything that you are doing, Linda. I wish you the best of luck with all these uh, initiatives that you have undertaken. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.